Welcome to Wednesday Wishes, where I show you what books made their way onto my wish list this week. Wish list update, August the 22nd, 2012. The Night Has Teeth by Kat Kruger. This book comes out September the 23rd. It is YA, fantasy slash paranormal. Um, it's about werewolves. Twisted Roots by Shelley Goodman Wright. This book came out June the 19th. I'm trying to get my grips really on what this one is. It sounds like a drama, it sounds like a mystery, but it also sounds paranormal. Um, the end of the synopsis reads, uh, she runs until she is lost and bewildered in a Georgia swamp where she discovers the existence of the wonderful place her father hinted at to her when she was only a child. In this magical, unreal world, just as she begins to discover the truth of her twisted family roots, Three young men set their eyes on her. One will win her heart, one will try to steal it, and one will try to kill her. Sounds paranormal. I don't know. Looks good. Love the cover. Thirsty by Tracy Bateman. This is actually book one in the Thirsty series. I just read book two in the series, not realizing it was a series until I got to the very end of the book. And I actually really liked the second book. So I'm going to pick up the first one in the series. This is listed as Christian fiction, but it is also vampires. So take that for whatever you will. The Key and the Flame by Claire Caterer. I bet it's Caterer. -a. Caterer. It's by Claire. Anyway, this is middle grade fantasy. It says it's recommended for ages 8 and up. 11-year-old Holly Shepard was once nothing more than the seek adventure outside of her humdrum American life. She gets her chance at last when her family travels to England and Holly receives an unusual gift, an iron key that unlocks a passage to the dangerous kingdom of Angel L, where magic is outlawed and those who practice magic are hunted. When her friend Everett and her brother Ben are captured by Angel L, ruthless king, Holly must rescue them. But that means finding and using the magic within herself and learning which magical allies she can trust. The Key in the Flame is the first in a brand new fantasy adventure series for ages 8 and up. Orleans by Sherry L. Smith. This book's coming out in March. It is YA dystopian urban fantasy. The jacket says, After a string of devastating hurricanes and a severe outbreak of Delta fever, the Gulf Coast has been quarantined. Years later, residents of the outer states are under the assumption that life in the Delta is all but extinct, but in reality, a new primitive society has been born. Sounds really interesting. Love the cover. Love. So, I'm looking forward to this one. Paper Valentine by Brenna Yavanoff. This is coming out January 8th. This is probably my favorite cover of the week, and this book is probably my most anticipated book of 2013. I just saw it the other day in one of the publishing house's catalogs. There might have been some drool. I'm not even going to lie. It says, The city of Ludlow is gripped by the hottest July on record. The asphalt is melting. The birds are dying. Petty crime is on the rise. And someone in Hannah Wagner's peaceful suburban community is killing girls. So, sounds great to me. It's listed as YA Paranormal slash Horror. The Tell Tell Start by Gordon McAlpine. This book is coming out January 10th by Viking Juvenile Books. And I think I probably squealed a little out loud when I saw this one. It's so cute. I like the cover. Listen to the synopsis. Meet Edgar and Alan Poe, 12 year old identical twins, the great, 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 great grandnephews of Edgar Allan Poe. They look and act so much alike, they're almost one mischievous prank playing boy in two bodies. When their beloved black cat, Roderick Usher, is kidnapped and transported to the Midwest, Edgar and Alan convince their guardians that it's time for a road trip. Along the way, mayhem and mystery ensue, as well as deeper questions. What is the boy's telepathic connection? Is Edgar Allan Poe himself reaching out to them from the great beyond? And why has a mad scientist been spying on the Poe family for years? With the mix of literary humor, mystery, a little quantum physics, and fun extras like fortune cookie messages, letters in code, license plate clues, and playful illustrations throughout, this series opener is a perfect choice for smart, funny tweens who love the Time Warp Trio, Roald Dahl, and Lemony Snicket. Awesome sauce. 
awesome sauce. A Tangle of Knots by Lisa Graff. This book is coming out February 12, 2013. This is middle grade fantasy. It says, Savvy meets when you reach me in this in intricately woven magic tale. Told from multiple viewpoints, a tangle of knots is the magnificent puzzle. In a slightly magical world where everyone has a talent, 11-year-old Katie is an orphan with a phenomenal talent for cooking for cake baking. But little does she know that fate has set her on a journey from the moment she was born. And her destiny leads her to a mysterious address that houses a lost luggage emporium, an old recipe, a family of children searching for their own talents, and a talent thief who will alter her life forever. However, these encounters hold the key to Katie's mysterious past and how she became an orphan. If she's lucky, fate may reunite her with her long-lost father. Lisa Graff adds a pinch of magic to a sharply crafted plot to create a novel that will have readers wondering about fate and the way we're all connected. In a Glass Grimly, this is book two in the Tell Dark and Grim series. It's by Adam Gidwitz. I loved book one. I thought it was hilarious. Um, this series is middle grade fantasy slash fairy tale retelling. Let me read you what the back of this one says. It says, take caution ahead. Oversized plant life, eerie amphibious royalty, and fear inducing creatures abound. Lest you enter with dread, follow Jack and Jill as they enter startling new landscapes that may or may not be scary, bloody, terrifying, and altogether true. Step lively, dear reader. Happily Ever After isn't cutting it anymore. In this companion novel to Adam Gedwitz's widely acclaimed award-winning debut, The Tale Dark and Grim, Jack and Jill explore a new set of tales from the Brothers Grimm and others, including Jack and the Beanstalk and the Frog Prince. The Peculiar by Stephen Bachman. This book is coming out September the 18th. It says the graveyard book meets Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell in this gothic steampunk page turner for readers of all ages. Bartholomew Kettle won't live long. Changelings never do. The child of a human mother and a fairy father, Bartholomew is a secret despised by both his races. If the English don't hang him for witchcraft, the fairies will do something worse. So his mother keeps him locked away, hidden from the world in the fairy slums of Bath. But one day Bartholomew witnesses a mysterious lady kidnap another changeling through a shadowy porthole, and he realizes the danger is closer than ever before. Changelings are surfacing in the rivers, their bodies empty of blood and bone, and their skins covered in red markings. A powerful figure sits in the shadows, pushing the pieces in place for some terrible victory. When a sinister fairy in a top hat begins to stalk Bartholomew's steps, he knows it's his turn. Something is coming for him. Something needs him. But when you're a changeling, there's nowhere to run. So that's my wish list update post for this week. I hope you saw something new and interesting that maybe you didn't know about. If you do like a wish list Wednesday or waiting on Wednesday or one of those type posts, feel free to let me know down below and I will come and check it out. Thanks for watching. See ya.